OSCP and uh, the CBTS, like those are pretty good just to get like kind of like a baseline for like web apps, for instance, and good like general pen testing. But um, I found it really helpful to kind of go through like the offsec training of the OSWE or AWAE, whatever it's called, just going, going that route. I think, it, I don't think when I took it, there was kind of that lower level one. I, I can't remember. I think it's OSWA. I don't think that was around. Maybe it was, mm. but I ended up just yeah going with that one because at that time um, I was getting work doing source code testing. I needed a cert that would help me out with that. And that, that really, really helped. And then I've also, I'm about like 80% done with the Burp Academy as well. And that's awesome. As far as internals and all that stuff, OSCP, CPTS, like, yeah, they really help quite a bit as you get a lot of this general information. And then you also kind of understand how to look for that information as well, you know, which is extremely important in our line of work. We have to understand how to get information fast, especially when we're learning like new technologies and things like that. Right. Yeah, that's key. Learning new technology fast because every pen test, especially if you're doing client engagements like we do, you get thrown in an environment that you've never been into before and you have to learn things on the fly. And I spend, I feel like I spend a lot of time like researching things that I've never seen before. And that, that's definitely a, a vital skill, which is what I tell people when it comes to OSCP on LinkedIn, I just see, you know, people bash OSCP because the course doesn't explain everything that you need to know to pass that certification. I try to tell people like, that's the point. Like when you're in the exam, like you have to research on the fly and that's the point of the certification and your experience might have been different. But when I went through, it's like, I had to research during my exam. Like I didn't know everything. Yeah. Um, when I started the exam, I had to, you know, Google on the fly. Yeah, 100%. You talked about the OSWE, that's the OFSEC Web Expert. I don't have that certification and I, I would like to get it one day. From my interpretation of like what it is, so it's mostly source code review, correct? It's more like for a code review and like white box testing. Is that correct? Yeah, and keep in mind, like most of these certs, well, I guess I took CRTP and CPTS pretty recently, but the other ones, you know, I, especially the OSSEC ones, I haven't like seen the the new updated ones since they put them in like the web modules, you know, like mm. I did OSCP when they're still doing buffer overflows. So I can only get my experience from when I took them. But yeah, it was, it was basically like, yeah, source code testing mostly. You brought up OSWA, so that's the OSSEC web assessor. So that's like... That's Web 200, OSWE is Web 300, and Web Assessor, it's more for the black box testing, I think. And I'm currently in that, I've actually done that course already, and I've actually, I already said this on one of the other episodes, but I've taken that exam twice now, and i failed it twice um, by a very narrow mar margin. And uh, I really like that certification, that really that course. Um, it definitely, before that course, I didn't have a whole lot of like black box, like web app testing skills but then i went through that course and even though i don't have the certification i still learned a ton that i'm applying to my work every day so i would definitely recommend that for if you're doing black box assessments so do you think the oswe helps with black box assessments at all yeah um absolutely um you know it really really helps knowing like what what's happening under the hood you know so like when i'm looking at a piece of technology when I'm uh, doing a black box test, I'm actually thinking about like, okay, what's actually happening in the code that can help either, you know, guide me to what my next attack might be or eliminate attacks, you know, which might be even more important, you know, because sometimes, especially as a new tester, you're like, what do I do? There's like a million different things and it can be overwhelming. So it helps to kind of understand what it can't be actually. It, I think it absolutely helps. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. And uh, like I said, I haven't done the OSWE. So I, I'm I'm currently lacking, you know, that level of knowledge and that skill to to look at the code behind the scenes like that. But I do. That's one of the things I'm trying to get to uh, in my career. After OSWA, OSWE is on my radar. I definitely agree with you 100%. The more you know, the better. And I think uh, you, you got to start somewhere. So you can, obviously you can skip OSWA, the Web 200 and go straight to Web 300. But I think the Web 200 course was was pretty good. All right, moving on, I want to talk about college degree, and you brought this up prior to the recording. So I would like to, your to, you to share your opinion on college degree. So do you think it's needed, not needed for offense security career? Right. So I hated college. 
<laughs> I'm just going to say that up front. Um, I really, really did not enjoy it. And I thought a lot of classes were a waste of time, to be very honest. You know, I did pretty bad at a lot of those classes that I didn't care about. You know, I don't know if you're like this, but if you're not really that interested in something, then you just don't dissect it and try to understand it. But when I really am engaged with something and really interested, then I'm going to study the crap out of it and really try to understand it. Do you need a college degree? If you want to pass like the HR test, you know, to get your foot in the door, some companies are going to require it. It sucks. Some companies, you know, you're just not going to be able to interview with them. Some college courses and curriculums, you know, they're, they're probably good. You know, some of them, like I took kind of like a generic business information systems thing. So I learned like classes like statistics and things like that. And I just don't remember anything about it. I don't remember any statistics at all. Um, so it's like, what's the point? <laughs> but, you know, I took some computer classes and, you know, I was really into them and that helped. But, you know, even with that, like I took like process modeling and it's like, I don't, I don't remember any of that, you know, just drawing like boxes and, and like processes inside of them. I don't sure whatever, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I would say some companies are going to require it. A lot of degrees are just not good if for actual knowledge. Some degrees are probably going to be good. Like I imagine a computer science degree, you know, with good professors is probably going to help you out with pen testing. I really like how you brought up statistics because I'm not even kidding when I say this, I actually use something from my statistics college course in yeah. a pen test. Oh, wow. Um, and the, what it was, one of my big takeaways was a good sample size is 30. It's like statistics 101, basically. It's like a universal, like accepted thing. It was in my pen test, I was testing out payload one and payload two. And I tested them out, each out, 30 times and that's where I that's why I came up with that number is like because of statistics class because I want a good sample of the test so I ran it 30 times each and then compared the results and yeah I wrote up about that so <laughs> that's funny you mentioned statistics and I actually used statistics in my last test